Matt's really drunk. You having fun there, Tom? Yeah, I was, I was big for a while. <laughs> Woke up today to see the carnage in Tom's flat. And everybody is gone. Tom's gone, Matt's gone, Ben's gone. Everyone's gone. It's just me and Bev. So, then I got thinking, what are we going to do today? What are we going to do that's exciting for my video? And I have no idea. I don't know what we're going to do. I think we're going to go... Tonight, around 7, we're going to go to a gig. Uh, Matt and Jay both have their bands playing at this gig at a place called The Hornblower. So, that's what I think we'll do tonight. and I have decided that the best thing to do in a situation like today where we've got nothing to do is go out. So that's what we're doing. But we don't know where. We're just gonna go where our nose takes us, which in my instance could take us anywhere. I do hope I've got post. I'm waiting for a parcel. <gasps> There's something in there. I can't get in there because I've got no keys. I've, I've still lost my keys. So Bev's trying with her little hands. No. Go on. Let's just hope the letter's not important. So yeah, as you keep asking, I haven't found my keys yet. I'm just going to check in the sandwich shop, see if they've got my keys. That did take long, I haven't got them in there. I think we'll try uni again. Keys appeared. Uh, it'd be a key on a green string in the last few days. That's cost me 25 quid. No keys anywhere. Got any suggestions? No, should we just drive around? Yeah, but what should we do? I don't know. This is how uh, mine and Bev's conversation will go for the next half an hour, maybe hour. There's Bevla filling up the tank. So yeah, I totally forgot to tell you, we're going on holiday. Uh, we booked a holiday yesterday, or just, just around yesterday, day before or something. And we're going for eight days and we're leaving on Saturday. How exciting. I've not been abroad for six, seven months. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, where do you think we're going? Do you know? Have a guess. Little update on that group. I've been drunk with someone in this group. Group has just passed eleven thousand members. This time yesterday it was at five thousand. That's over doubled. Absolutely incredible. What should we do now? Cinema. Cinema. Yes. What was that? Cinema. What was that? <laughs> We're going to have a look at cinema times. I think we'll see Shutter Island unless something else more interesting looks like it's on. Have a look at the jumper we've just seen in the cinema. Absolutely fierce. Check that out. I think the trend's catching on. Crap jumpers are us. Buy a crap jumper now. We've decided to come and see Kick Ass. <laughs> Annie, Ubala, it's gonna be great! <laughs> What's that sound? Money! It's Danny Glover, ladies! I'd like to thank all of you who pay to see the latest releases. But a small minority damage cinema by camcording films and posting them online or making copies. With your help, we can restrict piracy and enjoy the real experience. Thank you. <laughs> so we just been to see Kick-Ass, the movie, and it was extraordinary. I think you should go and watch it. Whatever your age, whether you're male or female, or just as long as you're over 15, because it's rated 15, it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so go and watch it. Now, actually, go online and book tickets right now and go and watch Kick Ass. 
That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and see if you laughed as much as I did. <laughs> all the way through. And the soundtrack. Oh my God. Epic soundtrack. Arms <sighs> now. Just kicking a, a vegetarian toad in the hole and some pasta and probably some vegetables and stuff. So me and Tom and Bev are all filled up to go out to the Hornblower to see Matt and Jay's band tonight. Um, but yeah, go see Kick-Ass. Go and see it. Go and see it. Go and see it. Yummy. That's a bit pathetic for 45 minutes work. Toad in the hole, vegetarian. Cheese and broccoli pasta and spaghetti. But it still looks tasty enough to enjoy yourselves tonight because uh, we'll be all full up on food. Right, on our way to the Hornblower. Aren't we? Yeah. So what are you looking forward to seeing tonight, Tom? I'm looking forward to blowing horns. <laughs> That's the horn blower there where the lads will be playing tonight. Jay's band's on first and we're ready for some music. Well, I don't know if it's very bright here or not, but I'll try and speak to you anyway. Jay's band just been on and it was absolutely outrageous. I've never heard so much screaming and shouting in my life. It was really like energetic stuff. I'm not sure if it's meant to be good or bad, but I enjoyed it anyway, seeing all the people getting hectic at the front. And uh, in half an hour's time, Matt's band were on, so I'm looking forward to that too. So, hey, it's been good fun here, actually. It's a really cosy little pub. Probably not the best place to play death metal, but good luck. Kasha, who's on the right here, doesn't like being videoed, so I've just slightly done this, and I've also got a really funny photo of her here. Just click on it on the right and comment or something, you'll laugh your head off. Right, I don't know if you can see me still, but uh, Matt's just about to go on, but a revelation. I've just been told something about Tom, and uh, I didn't believe it at first, but I'm, I'm starting to believe him now. He invented something when he was five years old, and he's going to tell us now. Tom? Wait. Right. <coughs> Lloyd's just about walked past. Hey. Lloyd, uh -huh. stop here for a sec. Go on, Tom. I, I suggested the idea that they should make blackcurrant chewits. So you basically you basically invented blackcurrant chewits. Basically, yeah. But I did it by winning a colouring in com competition. How I, old were you? Probably about five, six. I had to colour in the green dinosaur, the chewit dinosaur. You invented blackcurrant chewits? Yeah, essentially. This is the most um, this is a revelation to me. This is, can I just shake your hand? Thank you. You like chewings that much. Well, no, I, I like the fact that you've, you've got such an incredible claim to fame. Yeah, it's cool. Hi, Lloyd. Hello. Lloyd's just turned up to listen to Matt's band. You're just in time. <laughs> Yeah, that was day 86 of 365. Just seeing Jay's and Matt's band absolutely blow my mind away. I mean, I was into dance and hardcore and uh, raves and MC and all sorts of stuff like this. But seeing this sort of stuff, so much energy, it's, it's amazing. But yeah, cool. So uh, just sign off now because we're coming up to 10 minutes and great. I'll speak to you later. Bye.